My name is Morris Ple Joseph Pleasure. I'm from uh, New Haven, Connecticut, uh, which is just above New York City. And uh, I'm a musician, producer, uh, businessman of sorts, and um, kind of uh, man of the world. And I'm very proud of uh, you know teaching kids and, and showing them what I've learned over 30 years in the business. What I um, what I did learn is that now there's sometimes there's a little bit of a stigma between like gospel or secular music and church music. And I concentrate more on the spirituality of music, which I believe that if anybody's really uh, doing music where they're connecting with other musicians musically, like uh, I'm, pl I'm playing with a band and I'm, it's actually unspoken communication that we're doing, the bass player, the, the singer, we're all listening to each other, we're all speaking to each other. To me, that is spirituality. I realize that when I'm playing music at the highest level of my own playing, um, and, I, and I would contend that it's what most of us are searching for is that feeling of not actually controlling the music but letting it, letting it happen as opposed to making it happen. And then the fact that it crosses all lines of age and race and religion and sex and everything else. I've experienced uh, I've experienced um, alcohol and the effects of that in my own life. I've experienced it in, the, in the, um, that of my parents. Um, I've experienced it in that of my colleagues. Um, uh, drugs, hard drugs especially. Um, depression especially, and, and especially now. Because um, right now there's, there's like um, the creative arts have kind of been diluted, um, you know, by so many things, which I don't even have time to mention. But um, we lose hope sometimes that, that we're actually being heard or that what we're doing has any importance at all. We know it's really important to us. Um, we feel that we're touching people sometimes, but then there's also feels like there's this kind of disconnect and nobody cares. Couple that with like some financial hardship, which most of my friends are really going through a very tough time right now. Um, not just because of the music business, but also because of the, the times of, you know, what's going on in the, the world. It's hard to keep hope, but the church, first of all, it's great for healing. You know, it's, it's great for spirituality. It's a, it's a great network for selling your music even. You know, it's a, it's a distribution network, you know, if you think about it. Great place to have concerts. Um, and I, I think that when, once you take the kind of holier than thou element out of it, so it would, like there's not um, people aren't looking down at you for a, a particular type of music or a particular type of uh, even religion. You know, um, I think I, I love the idea that it caters to artists of all religions, even though it comes from the Church of England. Um, I think that's really important because once you start any kind of a, an exclusionary thing, that's when that's when you lose. I really believe. Um, and people need it, and people need to be part of a community. Artists need to feel like they're part of a community, um, and not just out there on their own, that there are others like them going through what they're going through. And uh, so I just, I just love it, you know, what the Haven's doing, I think it's great. It's other people going through the same thing. Um, secondly, I'm impressed that there's, you know, there, there's a lot of times, like you'll say, okay, for example, even myself, I'll go like, well, I could really use somebody to talk to. And then you go through the whole thing. Well, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't really call them, this and that, and um, I can't afford to go to see like a psychiatrist or something like that. And you know, if I go to my priest or something, then I'm, I know exactly what he's going to say first, or my, you know, my rabbi. The first thing will be about something that I don't really want to hear about right now. What I really need to support and not um, criticism. So um, I think if you take all those things out of it and you make a very comfortable space for someone and a space that they can create so that, you know, not only can they kind of get it off their chest, but they can also feel free to start painting, you know, right there. That kind of thing I, I think is, is invaluable.